check, 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 check. My check, my check, my check, my check. My check, 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 My check, my check, my check. Seems like everything is running smooth here. Big perk dog in the building. What's going on, Wong Guan? Wong Guan. Shit. I'm just tweeting stuff out, man. Dixon Cider. What's going on? What is up? What's up? I'm just making sure that everything is done here. Well, what is really going on on Twitter? Every single time I go to Twitter, it'd be some bullshit. <laughs> It be some bullshit every single time I'm on Twitter. God damn. No, I don't like that for Twitter. Or, or X, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for the two likes, man. Uh, big shout out to the eight concurrent viewers on. I know, I just seen that uh, Bolo went live and I said, fuck that, I'm going live. I try to be nice. We ain't being nice tonight, it's Thursday. Thursday is my day, for sure. What's the name of that? This, if you're talking about this right in front of me, it's the MPC Keys 37. Uh, let me get a little bit of, this music is uh, it's loud, that's for sure. All right, let me go ahead and check uh, other things too. Like, it's been a minute since I've been streaming in here. Uh, hey, how everybody doing tonight? Uh, yeah, everything is good, everything is great, cool. How everybody doing? Man made hustler, what's good? Michael Lumpkin, what's going on? It is nine hundred dollars. It's nine hundred dollars. But this face that you see right here is priceless. Yeah, you already know this is a big chilling stream. I got a, a wife beater on. God damn. You want? That's what's up. 900, I had the link in the description box if you want to purchase this affiliate link. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Se seeing that I don't ever do that as much as often. You know what I'm saying? I'm hurting my own pockets by not doing that, but. Yes, 900. So you need a new phone too? Shit, the phone probably gonna cost more. Depending on what you're getting. If you're getting like an iPhone, you know, Whatever they don't fit in, I still I'm still rocking my my Pro Max from like three years ago. But uh, <laughs> I'm good with that. Uh, big shout out to the 13 people up in here. Uh, thank you for the five likes. Say, what's the best feature on the new MPC Key 37? In my opinion, it just happens to be the form factor. I mean, it's no, it's not that much different from the MPC Key 61. Um, granted, uh, and it also is missing features from the Key 61 to kind of set it apart from all the other NPCs, uh, like the touch strip. You know what I'm saying? The touch strip to me was legendary, but I think enough people, I don't know. I don't know why they decided not to put the touch strip on the, on the Key 37 other than build quality. And I would have liked to see some new additions, some, something to shake up the game a little bit, like, you know, uh, microphone. You know, put a microphone, if you have a sample, you might as well have a built-in microphone of some type. It don't gotta be the best microphone in the world. It could be goddamn the microphone I have on my chest. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, and this is good enough quality for, for what it is, you feel me? Just a little teeny tiny microphone would make a difference. You know what I'm saying? Just like how the Teenage Engineering KO2 has a built-in microphone. The speaker in itself is small as shit, not worth a damn, but good enough you, you feel me uh, you know some things i don't know hopefully that guy will shake things up i think this release right here fine it makes sense but the next npc's gotta shake some shit up you know what i'm saying like it really has to both software hardware wise design wise gotta shake things up and i kind of think that they pop their key series cherry early a little too early but you know they have things that are established and that they're developing in the near future that will definitely make the key series you know or the mpc series worth a little bit more than what it is now you know what i'm saying we'll see there's a lot of shit talkers and 
They go. I, I would love to see them try to back their sit their shit up when all when it's all said and done. You know what I'm saying? What up, Badge Gang? Big shout out to the Badge Gang up in the building, man. You know, hey, I see you, Neo Lofi. Big shout out to you. Uh, if you want to become a member of this channel, uh, all you have to do is be on the desktop version of YouTube or the desktop, you know, whatever browser that you choose. As long as it's on the, this is on the desktop or a laptop, and then you can just hit the join button. It is right there and available. And you get to see all the perks in front of you and all that stuff. It, I will greatly appreciate it because, you know, it is hard being a content creator. Definitely full time. It is not what you think it is. What should I do a video on that? My experience over the past 17, no, my bad, 18 years uh, in March. I'll be a YouTuber for 18 years of my journey creating content on this platform. Uh, I was on here before they were allowing you to get paychecks. So I am well and dedicated to it. DJ Random Spoons, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? I, I didn't even know I selected that beat, but yeah, I'm just giving shout outs right now, just letting people warm up, come in. Uh, big shout out to y'all. I just want to say to the people that, you know, join in and I'll probably repeat it again. You know, I greatly appreciate all the support that you guys have given over the, the past year and some change. I mean, forever since. Because y'all could be anywhere, but y'all choose to be here and during these live streams or whatnot, it's not easy to kind of do content live. A lot of people don't know. <laughs> you feel me? No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! You feel me? It, it is not easy to do at all. A lot of people think that you could just turn on the camera or just get a camera and then just stream whatever you want. Bruh, it's just not that easy. And we're talking about short content, editing, and so forth. It's definitely not easy. Uh, but you guys make it a lot easier on me. You know what I'm saying? And I am very gracious and appreciative. And I try to make sure that you guys know that as well. That you guys uh, really do push this platform further than what it is. It is 51 degrees out here in ATL, Georgia, leaning for you. Bulldog and hoes like the Georgetown Hoyas. So, and yeah, the stream is running okay. The camera is a whole lot better. I just hope they nail the, the stem separation lines. Uh, what do you think? Let me see here. I'm, I'm reading uh, Neo Lo Fi. If y'all have questions or anything like that, you know, I'm just, I got an itinerary I'm gonna stick to. You know, I'm gonna bust it in a little second. But uh, he, uh, Neo Lo Fi says, I just hope uh, they nail the stem separation launch. But what do you think is lacking on it, if anything? Well, my only issue with the stem separation right now, or at least since I was introduced and known about it for quite a while, was it, did, it wasn't working. It wasn't working for me. Clearly it works for other people, but you know, it was in an early stage. So, you know, if you ever, go this route with content creation or whatever that happens to be in this industry or any industry, you know, you're going to be uh, met with situations where you, where you be blessed to be an alpha tester, beta tester or whatnot. And uh, you're going to have to learn that a lot of things won't be perfect. You also have to be dedicated to testing stuff out. Um, I'm right now testing the Windows version of it just to see if the Windows version is well, you know, cause I, when it comes to the MacBook anyways, Mac, the MacBook or really Apple computers are very funny with third party software. The only software that really you can count on is first party software when it comes to Apple. You know, a lot of their OS stuff, when they update the OS, they update a whole bunch of drivers. Uh, you gotta get some, uh, more permission, recalibration. They have to deal with uh, dev kits to you know to convert stuff over and all that i don't want to get into something that i don't know too much about but they have to do a lot of work to get the stuff to work publicly and then it kind of kills the public perception when things don't hit right but you know akai's on it uh, the original release date was in february uh for just the software version uh and then the standalone version was supposed to come out in march so it's been pushed back to March, all of it, because, you know, you gotta work those bugs out. And a lot of people are, what's going on, uh, Paul, 
Palouse, the web known. What's going on, Jorge? Uh, thoughts, what's good? School hit the button, what's good? Uh, Columbus, Ohio, hey. Columbus, Ohio is in the building, hey. hey. Cresshead in the building. Damn, bruh, it's a little late, ain't it? But yeah, so when it comes down to the stem separation thing, I must rather be late than not working. You know what I'm saying? And that goes with any software, anything. I don't want something to be released just because people are extra hype about it. And that's one of the things that kind of kills the industry at large, every industry when it comes down to uh, software. You know, in the gaming world, you know, you had stuff like, we, we talked about this before. We was talking about like how Cyberpunk 2077 came out so extra buggy that, you know, it was a catastrophe. So he says it's 2 a.m. Oh, that's early for you. <laughs> I'm messing with you. So, you know, it's important that they nail it. Again, uh, I believe it's Shigeru Miyamoto uh, of Nintendo that said it best. He said, basically, a late game is just a late game. And this is me just paraphrasing it, remixing it. But a bad game on release is still a bad game. And look at cyberpunk mind you i played it when it was at its buggiest state with it crashing and i enjoyed the story but the masses ain't gonna tolerate that you know that's me being nonchalant you know what i'm saying i complained about the bugs just like everybody else i watched all the videos on youtube but when it came down to it the core part of the game which is the story Mind you, most games have stories that I think are not appealing at all. Even with all the CGI, the money, the, the actors and all that, uh, Cyberpunk had a phenomenal story. Uh, the gameplay was the idea that it, the execution was terrible, but the ideas of the gameplay were phenomenal. Now, if we just go and harken back that if something comes out not right, a lot of people will be upset regardless of the price point and the price point is amazing i can't believe that they're gonna do it for like 10 bucks there's people that were complaining like oh man this better be a part of a free update like like what it's, ain't that something like do you work for free motherfucker but you know i digress from that you know you just got people that are over they they expect shit they expect shit cuz So you want a master class on the MPC One Plus? I do have one available at 16levels.com. I might as well just go ahead and get the the uh, housekeeping done, you know, so we can stay on schedule here. We're doing that right now. You know, we're gonna talk about a couple of things, you know, and then uh, we're gonna cook up on the baby, not like the rapper, but the baby, as in this baby right here. So. Uh, Someone's talking about master classes and all that stuff. So I, I basically have a master class for almost every single NPC except for the NPC key 37. I was caught lacking in these streets, but I will have one very soon. Uh, you can check us out at 16levels.com. You know, this is a community based website, as in, it's not just me doing this website, it's um, some of your favorite content creators that have multiple talents. You know what I'm saying? They, they are providing sample packs, preset banks, courses, and so forth. Uh, we have clothes too, but right now the apparel side of it is in limbo. I want to keep it in limbo and kind of focus on the main side of it so that we can really gauge that up. But uh, if you just check out the link in the description box to 16levels.com, you can check it out. Uh, you can get $10 off of your orders uh, that are $60 and above. And ironically, uh, all of the master classes are around 77.77, so it's basically 67.77. Um, and all you have to do once you uh, put in all your proper information, mind you, you need to put in all your proper information. Do not put in any of no fugazi fake stuff. Uh, I am adamant about that because people like to do funny stuff or anything like that. You know, just, just keep it 100% legit because, you know, we put in a lot of work over here and, um, you know, treat us, treat us fair when it comes to things that y'all like or dislike. But yeah, we have uh, bundle deals over here. We have sounds. Uh, we have and courses over here so you click on courses and mpc master class then you'll get to know uh, where you see the master classes here i have uh, the mpc live two master classes probably the most popular one outside of the mpc one master class 
I have the MPC Key 61 Masterclass over here and I have the MPC X Masterclass. And then I also have private lessons, which again, they're not cheap, I understand that. But hey, if you get an hour of my time, I'm gonna make sure that you get better at what you do. Uh, and you can schedule at any time that you want. I got my uh, schedules and stuff like that there. So you, if you want to uh, just get some time or whatnot, it's just easy. Just go over here and click on the product and you know, they'll tell you schedule your time. So schedule your time and so forth. So that's how my private lessons work. You know, people have been doing that and I appreciate everybody that supported that. Um, when you go over here and you select the masterclass, like uh, for example, someone was talking about an MPC one masterclass. So if you go over here to the MPC One Masterclass, you have two choices. Uh, you have a one-time fee where you basically get the course forever, or you can do the 16 levels university, which is basically a tuition or a subscription plan where you have access to all the masterclasses for a year. Uh, no matter which one that you purchase for a masterclass, uh, depending on, you know, if you do a one-time purchase, you only get one uh, of the actual MPC uh, masterclasses. Oh, you can Thank you for the sub. When you get something on the masterclass, uh, you will be able to see it forever. Uh, my G16 Levels University gives you all of the masterclasses for a year. So that is the difference. Uh, I do have, I finally got someone to do some cool stuff for me. I, I'm not gonna talk about it now. I'm not gonna tip my hand or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so, and, and they're not like, BS masterclasses or anything like that. You know, you got over two hours of content. I think almost every single one of the masterclasses had like two, about two hours of content. Uh, I believe every single one of the masterclasses except for maybe the key 60, uh, 61 masterclass has the project files. So, you, you know, you can play with it or whatnot. I think I'm most proud of the MPC one masterclass uh, because the, both of the beats are actually decent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll find out when someone comes out with my stuff. <laughs> that always happens. It's been happening since I started making beats. And we got, uh, we got other things too, just explore. You know, we got NPC expansions, NPC core progressions. You know, big shout out to Musician Paradise, which is a big supporter of 16levels.com. And it's an honor to work with them and many other content creators on there. So yeah. So I, do I have a masterclass for the SP404? Man, I've been thinking about it. I was gonna get uh, Stefan Ringer to do it. Uh, Stefan Ringer is really dope at the SP404, but I guess I, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll give it one more spin before, you know, I decide on ultimately what I'm going to do with my SP404 because I don't use it enough to keep it. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> it is what it is. But yeah, big shout out to that. Appreciate everybody. Big shout out to the 86 people that's up in here. Thank you for the 25 likes. Hitting that like button is free, so make sure that you support the stream by hitting the like button because that helps push the content a little bit further. You know what I'm saying? Because the stream it's already hard enough as a streamer to get on here. Um, I know I'm in the in the beater, <laughs> but hey, look, uh, I'm relaxing, chilling. Uh, Nefertiti, what's going on? I see you up in here. Ross Sharpness is up in the building. Uh, Eva, I believe that's how you say it. Uh, the champ, what's going on? He said, Brody love what you do big fan my no no uh blah 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 <laughs> i i won't put your government out there <laughs> but oh yeah oh okay so this is this is fam right here because they they said wheeler high school big shout out uh god bless um that's what's up uh peace my brother M mouse quake up in this yes niche mighty j young what's good what's good what's good what's good just doing a little bit of a check-in and whatnot you know, I got a couple of things we're gonna talk about. I need to start uh, playing uh, some games and stuff with you guys. You know what I'm saying? I got some pretty good things I do. I'm just so super lazy. I've been talking about this for a while. Uh, so a couple of things that we're gonna talk about. You know, we're gonna talk about the Moog leak, you know, and some of this relevance and whatnot. We're gonna talk about Behringer capping or Behringer isn't backing up their drops. Like they have been talking about all this new stuff. They've been doing these reveals and ain't shit been coming out, you know? Thought that'd be interesting. What the hell was that? Uh, uh, we, I'm gonna react to one of uh, Jan, Jan Hunter's uh, cookups. And, you know, I ain't get to see it, so I, I would like to see it live. You know, why not? You gotta do it live. Fuck it, right? You feel me? No. We'll do it live. Fuck it. That's what we gonna do. Uh, big shout out to D Rich. D Rich, man, 100% faithful. Big shout out to my dog Perkum, or Perk Dog, at least. 
I'm gonna say Perk Dog. Soul Science, what's going on? Uh, Bill Bishop's in the building, what's good? Canada is in the bitch. Boy, Canada's been whooping the, um, well, shit. I mean, between the UK and, and Canada, boy, we be getting our ass whooped in this music shit. 100%, I'm gonna keep it real. But a uh, big shout out to everybody uh, outside of the United States. Europe too, to a certain degree. When y'all ain't doing y'all big weirdo shit, y'all, when y'all lock in, lock in, y'all be on some, on some other shit. Shit, Canada do be whooping the American. What? Shit. All I gotta do is say Drake and Kate Trinata and that's it. <laughs> and that, that's, <laughs> and that's recent. Is body and R&B not gonna lie? Oh yeah, for sure. How you feel when, when uh, R&B is like, when when the best people in R&B right now, when they sit down and they got a British accent. <laughs> you be thinking they American and fucking, what are they from LA? No, no, I'm from Great Britain. Oh, you, you give me an onion ring? Hold on. Give me a, give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. Be right bike. Uh, where, where is my be right bike at anyways? Damn. Countdown. Uh, shit. Damn. Oh, there you go. There. My bad. <laughs> I had to handle something real quick. <laughs> oh shit. Anyways, my bad. So UK is body R&B. No, oh yeah, that's what we was talking about. And, and then y'all was laughing at me. UK too. All right, jingling cowbells. I think that's what that says. Jingling cowbells or whatnot. Come on. Boy, I'm gonna get a smoke break up in this mouth. Y'all feel me? Uh, but anyways, anyway, anyways, uh, big apologies to you guys. And uh, let, let's talk about something more. So first on the ducky, we're going to talk about this damn, this right here. And I don't know if I want to, I might end up doing, I got a little bit of a buzz. Prophecy in the house, hey. <laughs> Jingling that cowbell is crazy. But uh yeah, so what we got on what we, what we I wanted to talk about something because it, it made some relevance in some headlines last year. And with the headlines last year, it was kind of crazy. Also real shit. Uh the acquisition of Moog from M Music Brand. Make of it or what you will. I've definitely saw the hot takes from the internet. You know, most people don't like company acquisitions and, you know, things go awry. Things change. People get upset. Um, the things that suck about an acquisition altogether is that not everybody's going to make it. You know, that that's a company change. People going to change. And that's a, a whole bunch of change. So, yeah. Uh, but for what it is, Big, Big Johnny in the building. What's happening? Who won? But anyways. We're going to fast forward because the most relevant thing, and I hope I don't say this brother's name wrong. Still tripping up in this biz niche. 
and now I hope I don't say this brother's name wrong, is this right here. So I, I saw an article here on musicradar.com, and it was talking about people are going to flip over this Moog's new synth, a tease in Usher's Super Bowl halftime show is revealed by Andrew Wang. I always say, I always say that brother's name wrong. It ain't nothing. It's nothing by that. I do apologize. I believe I'm saying it right. But if I'm saying it wrong, I'm saying it wrong. I do apologize. So basically, we have Andrew Wayne. This is the reason why it's on my uh, live stream thumbnail. Uh, Andrew Wayne has the M. Well, damn, I'm about to say the MPC Moog. Moog. But anyways, what's going on, Dubs? Andrew Wayne has it, and I'm not surprised. I don't think anybody's. I don't think anybody's surprised that Andrew Wayne would have anything exclusive at this point. I mean, this dude is like one of the few content creators that's in a million plus. I only know of him and Busy Work Beats, and I can't even think of ha the other pe people's name right now. I do apologize, but if you're in a million plus and you are a musician, I, I appreciate the independent person on YouTube, bruh. More power to you. I love it for you. Salute. That's my goal. So I can live vicariously through them. So anyways, this article comes from Music Radar. It says, uh, Huang has exclusive access to what many are speculating is the long rumor Mo. Yeah, I said it right. <laughs> Let me start that again. <clears throat> so this, uh, this is on Music Radar. I probably have it linked in the description box or whatnot, maybe. Um, Andrew Wang has exclusive access to what many are speculating is the long rumored Moog Mirror, a polyphonic and bitembral synth with eight voices. Now, if we're going to be talking about Moog, and if anything that I hope from the acquisition is that the price go down, but I don't want the make to go down. Uh, one of the things I will say off top, and I do share the same sentiment as everybody else. When it came to the acquisition, we definitely don't want the quality because, you know, the reason why the prices were so are so high for any Moog or any American based synthesizer is because it's made at home. You know, you feel me? And, you know, they got to pay people and stuff like that. However, the make of the Moog stuff, from my experience, has always been good. I've had a Moog Mother 32 and it was hard for me to sell it. But at the same time, the only real reason why I sold it is because I wasn't using it a lot. But if I had anything else, like the Sub-37, that some bitch is never getting sold. And I'm going to get it. I don't give a damn what anybody says. I'm going to get that never getting sold. So we have a picture right here. So we have a picture right here, and it's Andrew Wang. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, clearly, he has some ties with Moog, and that's really dope. I, I like that for him. And then we get a little bit more information right here where it says uh, a new Moog synth is on the way uh, being spotted on stage at the Super Bowl halftime show during the Usher's performance. The instrument release has since been confirmed by YouTuber, producer and musician Andrew Huang. Now, I'm, I'm keep it real with you. If <laughs> that ain't the first time something has been revealed at the Super Bowl. And in one of the most recent ones, I believe, like two years ago, was it? Or was it a year and a half ago? I don't, I can't remember, goddamn. I don't be watching the Super Bowl no more unless the Falcons in it. And the Falcons ain't gonna never make that shit again. And if they do, I'll be happy. But as a Falcons fan, I'm still disappointed for 2016. But anyways, uh, during the Dr. Dre performance, the MPC Key 61 was on stage, but most people didn't notice it because it was in all white. And... It was Andy Mack that pointed it out to me. And when I found out about it, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Because I ended up going back and looking at the at the footage and seeing the MPC Key 61 in the flesh. But it was in all white. Bruh, that was really cool. And I'm pretty sure there's been other instances of other companies that have done the exact same thing. Uh, big shout out to Usher and all the people over there. Big shout out to my homie. Uh, mix master david which is a cool homie of mine i'll probably have some content with him very soon i haven't talked to him because he's been busy doing this thing with usher but yeah big shout out to him yeah i'm a creepy knowing people y'all be thinking i'm just on some bum shit <laughs> uh 
In a Facebook post shared February 13th, Huang posted three images of the synth embedded below well, with the caption, did you catch the mystery synth in Usher's Super Bowl halftime show? Well, I got it in my studio now. If that ain't the world's mightiest or biggest flex, I don't know what is. But trust me, I will probably do the same thing too. Of course, with the permission of the company. Nah, for real. <laughs> Anyways. While the, details are, <clears throat> while the details are yet to be confirmed by Moog, it appears that the synth is a dual oscillator polyphonic instrument with five octaves, 61 key keyboard. The image suggests that the synth will be bi-timbral and have both mono and unison mode along with a chord memory function. Now on some real shit, that does sound interesting. I ain't gonna even hold you. That sounds very, very interesting. I mean, as someone that loves uh, Moog stuff, or at least the Sub 37, the Sub Sequential, I believe it's called, um, bruh, I would definitely love to see it. I don't know about owning it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to own every single last thing that's out on the market, but it's always exciting to see it being revealed. So hopefully when Andrew Wang reveals it, uh, we'll get to see, you know, it in action. I have good faith in Andrew Wang presentation he's always done a phenomenal job in my opinion so yeah i salute you know sim uh sim autonomy reports that the sim is a long rumor uh moog mirror Ooh, ugh, right, let me do that again uh sim autonomy reports that the synth is the long rumor moog mirror a name trademarked by the company in 2022 based on the architecture of the moog Matriarchy. Matriarch. Hey. Fuck y'all. I can read. <laughs> it will have eight voices. Which also means that it's going to be expensive as fuck. If you know what you know. Those who know, know. The synth, <clears throat> the synth will be the first major piece of hardware released by Moog since its acquisition by M Music Brand last summer. It is not yet to be announced it has not yet been announced where the mirror will be manufactured. Uh, let me read that again because I want this shit to be clean because I'm lazy. I'm lazy as hell. <laughs> the simple beat. Nah. No. We'll do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> the simple. <laughs> Fuck it up. <laughs> but the simple beat, the first major piece of hardware released by Moog since its acquisition by M Music. I always say M Music brand. Uh, last summer, it's not yet been announced where this mirror will be manufactured, but many are speculating that the production of the instrument may be shifted overseas. Yeah, I understand that people don't want the mugs to be manufactured anywhere else because they think it's going to be a loss of quality. I think the article in itself is kind of hinting that it will be in a certain place that people get most of their shit from anyways. But, you know, we're over here in gear tube where it's massively toxic. I can't wait to hear everybody's comment or read everybody's comment in the comment section because I bet you there's going to be some spicy hot takes. But many are speculating that the production of the instrument may be shifted overseas until the point until this point uh, most instruments have been primarily manufactured at its factory in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, when will we know more? When we know more, we will. Yeah, whatever. So this is Andrew Wang right here with the damn synth looking wild. He, he's got that Ad McCree face. Yeah, you know, when it comes, <laughs> your boy is an inspiration for all the Sith world. I ain't, I ain't the one that started that shit, but boy, the people la like it when I do that shit. Uh, yeah, so he has that face, and he's showing off the synth there. He's in the studio, and then there's a picture of the synth itself right here. And you know, as you can see, it's, it look, has that mold quality and those classic knobs and stuff like that that people enjoy about mold synths if you can afford one. And yeah, that's basically about it.
But I definitely want to hear from you guys. What do you think about it? Are you even interested in it? I'll find out. I, I will find out momentarily because we are live. Clearly, we're live. Fuck it. And I know a lot of you guys definitely have uh, the share, share the same kind of vibes when it comes to me with uh, synthesizers and stuff like that. Do I necessarily want it just from reading about it from the hype and so forth? No, no. I would definitely love to see Andrew uh, video when it's the time is appropriate and as far as like in music brand i don't know what the quality is going to be like i don't know anything about it yes i have done work with in music and i appreciate their support because <laughs> they're one of the few companies that do support what i do over here and <laughs> that is very rare mind you it's very rare and I, they need to understand that i also dj too but god damn it man yeah they, they should already know that Shit, I had the rain. Gotta, you know what? I'll say that rant for later. To the right, no. though. <laughs> Anyways, said that joint's going about. That joint's going to be five k. Oh yeah, for real. It's definitely going to be expensive. There's no way in the world that it's not going to be anything cheaper than four grand. And I believe. Uh, uh, let's look, let's look it up here. What was a Cheerios Poly? What Poly Brute? A uh, Cheerios Poly Brute. Price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. But uh, yeah, we won't do uh, the so the Cheerio Poly Brute in itself. The Cheerio Poly Brute, which is a phenomenal synth that I would definitely want. A Cheerio is a company I really fuck with. Period. Point blank. Um, <clears throat> about twenty seven hundred. Twenty seven hundred at Sweetwater. You know. It's basically the universal price here. I guess this is a used one over here at Guitar Center for about twenty one hundred. That's not a bad price. But damn, you got a used one over here for less than that. God damn, does it work? God damn it. Yeah, so that just gives you a general idea. And this is six voices. Uh, I know that uh, Moog has a synth already. That's out. I think it's like a Moog one or something like that. And that's like about damn eight eight bands. That's crazy, right? Eight bands is absolutely insane. So you can only imagine how much it will cost. So, uh, what is it? Uh, OTS even name is DJ Adam Crow. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, but people, you know, they, they kind of find a way to, to neglect the fact that I, I mean, me is a DJ. I definitely can DJ. I've been DJing for quite a while. I DJed out here in these ATL streets. You feel me? And I'm talking about hood spots, you know, the hole in the wall. Someone's getting shot at night. <laughs> like like you know it's a part like it's it's already a party with someone fighting but it, it becomes a official party when there's a body at the end of it you feel me now i'm just being funny that, that's not cute at all but i'm just saying it shit happens out here in atlanta or it used to i don't know i ain't out here in these streets no more i'm i'm 40 plus now say way out of <laughs> way out of your uh, price range i bet it is for sure it's out of my goddamn price range because before, before i spend about four grand on a synthesizer there's a lot you can do with four grand. I'm going to tell you that. So, uh, it is what it is. I ain't going to even hold you. Uh, that's for sure. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a little, we're going to take a little break here. I'm going to do a little break. I'm going to, you know, take care of some things behind the scenes. And it ain't going to be, a, it's going to be a short break. And then we're going to get back into it. You feel me? Hold on tight. Big shout out to the 112 people watching right now. And big shout out to the 56 likes. Keep it coming. We be right bike. Bike, 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 bike.
I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right. So we was just talking about the uh, Mo shit. You know what I'm saying? I keep on, it's like at the tip of my tongue is saying Moog and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? Like I always be saying it, uh, but I do apologize for some <laughs> future. <laughs> hey, hey, relax, relax. It, it could be a, that type of break. It'd be like that sometimes, you feel me? Um, only the funk, what's going on? What's good, what's good? Pops in this bitch. He, he, oh, you don't drop the Pops production, you just Pops now, huh? The fuck? But anyways, <laughs> big shout out to you though, my brother. Uh, DJ Scratch up in this bitch. 98 was good was good big shout out to all the people that hit the like button but anyway so let's go ahead and continue with the show what, what we got what we got here let me close that out and all right so so this next topic <laughs> i really don't care about this company that much you know some of the things that i have some of their products or whatnot and it's okay like it's all right like the one that they came out with it was okay like the Behringer model d but any other than that, though, it's Behringer. Full. It's, it's, oh, God damn. I can't talk, man. No. We'll do it live. But anyways, a big howdy to DMG. was good? Bad gang up in the building. But uh, it's Behringer. Cap. 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 I think we all know the answer to that. They, they're a cap-ass company at times. You know, they have done a couple of things that have pissed people off. I mean, if I'm just to lead into it, uh, the simple fact that a company like Behringer will come at someone like Loop Pop, which happens to be one of the nicest content creators on this platform. Nice, just generally nice person, gives people a straight shot, uh, you know what I'm talking about, and does this video, gets on about his business, does another video. Mind you. <laughs> he, that, all he does is put his product to reviews, he, he, he tries to be as forgiving as possible. The nicest person, but you're going to piss that person off. That's Behringer, <laughs> of all people. So they're talking about how they have not. Uh, well, people have noticed that they've been talking about all these new products. And they also have noticed that where in the hell are these damn products? They keep on talking about them. I've noticed that they have exclusive product deals with places like Sweetwater.com. And they always being, it always says notify me, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hell no. It always says notify me. I'm like, damn, it just came out. Y'all just announced it. Why does it say notify me? God damn it. Like, you should, when you, we'll talk about the significance of when you do a drop. That makes sense. He said, uh, Loop Pop is a human man manual. It's crazy. Well, he is, but, you know, it is what it is. His content has, we'll, we'll talk about the relevance of why, why Loop Pop and other, many other people, it can exist in this space along with others. You know what I'm saying? Because anyways, so on to the point here, another semi sort of cool, but boring. Uh, well, let me not diss them. Uh, Cause I big shout out to music radar. They have supported me in the past. Um, but, uh, so it's talking about our engineering team are working on cl <laughs> close to a hundred exciting products. <laughs> So what happened to the Sims and drum machines that Behringer has announced that aren't even in shops yet? Uh, they say the, an the answer to that is a chip shortage. I have a question for you guys. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you or no? No. 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 So let's go ahead. And investigate and this. Investigate this. Because I'm pretty sure we are feeling very petty today. Are you feeling petty? Are you feeling petty? Let me know in the chat. Because I am. Because I am. Because I am. All right. So let so let me go ahead and start with one part of the investigating. Ah, I can't. God damn. One part of this investigation by going to Sweetwater.com because that's the only place where you can get most of their sense now. And as we go over here, we just type in Barringer. Behringer synth, maybe. Let's use that. Uh, Behringer synth. Or actually, let's go right here. I, I believe that's one of their small synths. Let's see if it's in stock. Oh, no. Okay. It says, hot news, notify me when in stock. And I know they just announced that, did they? If I'm not mistaken. And, you know, you got a price there. It's about $1,200, you know, if you round it up. Uh, notify me when in stock. So, as anybody was no, and as anybody that wants something, 
It's a, it's a, look, when you go and you're excited about a product, you do product hyping of by, with all due respect to Behringer, they hype their own shit. So I give them props to that. You know, they just sink their own ad dollars into YouTube. You know, that's, that's fine. You want to hog the ad sense and all that. That's cool. And I ain't got no beef with you. Trust me. I'm one of the few content creators, even with some of the things I don't agree with, where I don't care, share the same vibes as everybody else where they just want to make Behringer into like this evil company dude all they are is a sim company and they're human beings so they're gonna do some dumb shit just like all human beings do look we will i'm gonna do some more dumb shit if not stutter or some other dumb shit that people won't like or laugh at so anyways what what's another synth that they have man like or they i know i wanted their drum machine you know the 303 or whatever the hell they call it I wonder if you could just search the Behringer by itself. Yeah, you can. Uh, no mind the kids. They're going crazy over here. Uh, uh, Behringer. They got a lot of dookie. Uh, Poly D. Okay. Price drop. I, I don't even remember that shit being around. Uh, recent stuff. Recent. There we go. Here we go. How about this Behringer JT4000? I had some interest in this. And it says, again, it says, <laughs> notify me when it's in stock. So are we noticing, so are we a, noticing pattern a pattern here? Pattern here. So I haven't even read the whole entire article on Music Radar, but I already know that because I constantly, like everybody else that has massive amounts of FOMO when it comes to music gear, will always look to see if there's something that could enhance you for a day or a week or something that you might keep or whatever the case may be. If it might end up on eBay or Reverb.com after you play with it, you still you know, have tried it out. You know, that's the thing about having FOMO, at least. But it's been an ongoing pattern for quite a while that Behringer does these releases, quote unquote, these releases, and they're never available. So I, I think what is happening, we're seeing it like we do in the video game world where you have the whole pre-order thing. And I'm not going to say like they're the only company that's done it. I remember with Roland with the SP404 Mark II, there was a lot of people that pre-ordered it and they didn't have it. They didn't get it until like a year later. Some people said it took them two years to get their SP404 Mark II. Trust me, as someone <laughs> that did a video on release date, there's been limited versions of it. And that's been the same case with the NPCs too, so that you guys don't think that I'm being biased towards Behringer. If you know, we got the, the, the Behringer defense team coming towards me in the comment section or even in the chat. This is kind of normal where you it's first come, first serve. But granted, you know, you want to, if you're going to hype things up to the level of what a Behringer does, you might want to have some units on deck. And that's something that they need to do a better job of, especially if they're trying to build their rapport back with the community at hand. Because one thing I also will say is that it's not ref like, the internet is not reflective of what real life happens. You know what I'm saying? Like we, as a content creator, yes, the internet has a certain say so on what's going on because I make a living like that. And yes, a bad reputation will definitely stain you but it won't destroy you if you do the right things <laughs> to patch it up a lot of people they just think any attention is good attention as long as you're getting attention it's attention i think that behringer is one of those companies however i will say this have the product out bring the product out don't announce so much product just to keep people's attention yes we're an attention hungry society but please, by all means, have something to sell. Because people forget real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's just like if the MPC Key 37 came out and it just said pre-order. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I would not. 
And yes, like I said, Akai and many other companies, uh, I don't know if Korg has that issue. I'm pretty sure they have in the past. Granted, because of the chip shortage. So I guess I could read a little bit of it. I don't really care. I just want to comment on it. You know what I'm saying? A uh, big shout out to the 100 plus people up in there. I do appreciate it. I know I took a little breakity break, but you know, you know, I, you know I'm an adult. Real life happens. So oh, what the fuck? Where did, where did the article go? Whoopsies. I don't know if I want to talk about this VST plugin. The hell are these kids doing? Uh, uh, let's see. Damn. I think I closed it out on accident. Eh, I don't give a fuck about that. I want let, let's get to the what we really care about. You know what I'm talking about? What we care about over here. What 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 makes us who man is. Actually, I'll just look in into the con, uh, the chat real quick. Uh, only the funk, what's going on? Dragon model was good. If you're still in here, big shout out to you. TJ, I see you up in this biznatch. Uh, I always see you posting on um, Instagram anyways. Uh, Rob Ultra. So I got the SP404, barely used it. <laughs> yeah, the SP404, in my opinion, is good. I think it's much better than, well, the Mark II, that is. It's better than any of the past SP404s, though, or the SP series uh, by Roland. Uh, given that certain SPs like the 202, you know what I'm saying, or the 505, which I that is heavy, that is heavily slept on. I think the 505 is crazy. Damn, I shouldn't have told you motherfuckers that. God damn it, it's tax season too, you sons of bitches. But there's some charming ones, but as far as like full functionality, that SP404 Mark II, it can't get any better than the SP404 Mark II, but the 505. I'm not saying any more. Th anything else about the five? I had an SP six oh six. SP six. I gotta see what the fuck. I'm gonna call y'all out. Y'all shit. Y'all be trolling. Six oh six. I never heard of that. Or maybe I have, and I'm I'm just bugged out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. Definitely seen the six oh six. And you know what's crazy? I remember when someone. God damn. And it's your fault. I, ski beats. I know you be fucking watching, my guy. Why in the world did you make the damn SP555 so goddamn popular? Bruh. Man, as soon as he did that, as soon I mean, I went down to the same place they was offering it for like 200 bucks. The thing was sitting in Sandmash out here in Atlanta. And as soon as he dropped that video, someone bought that some bitch. We did an SP555 Mark II. Well, I, I'm going to show you something. God damn microphone. Just want to act crazy. I'm going to show you something, man. I'm going to tell you. Oop. Oop. Whoopsies. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, I'd use the wrong buttons. Uh, SP505. Yeah, SP. Oh, man. They can see the prices. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here to Vintage Synth Explorer. Right around here. Uh, the 505, not the best design. I clearly, clearly, I'm gonna, as an NPC head, will say that the, what is this, uh, eight by, uh, two by eight layout is it, is it the superior choice here? You know, I think what they did with the SP404 Mark II was definitely the better design. Might check. Yo, what the fuck? Uh, I definitely think that was the better design. You know, uh, but this right here is actually really good. It's really good. It's really good. It's highly slept on. You know, there's a, you know, I already talked about it before. I'm not going to mention the company anymore. Say so you old school, you have a lot of old gear. Said so SP505 is made in Japan. What's the, what's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> no, if you pay the, the the ticket that they asked for for the five hundred five is worth it. And they and I buy stuff in Japan. I buy stuff in Japan all the time, honestly. And it comes probably as fast as stuff that I might buy in the United States. 
Dead ass for real. I did FedEx one day delivery and it still have taken three days in the United States where I have bought something in Japan and wasn't even expected it in a month or a week in this came. No extra, no extra nothing. Not to mention a lot of the people that sell gear in Japan, like a lot of the people that sell gear in Japan, they will re, they, they will buy, the, all the parts are over there. So basically you're going to get something that is old as shit, but the parts will be replaced 100%. Because they have a lot of manufacturer dealers and parts dealers and so, so forth that still make the parts for things they do in modern time. So, mind you, you're going to get something nice and fresh. You know what I mean? Them MPCs I bought for someone out here in the United States and they've been absolute garbage, but they it presents well. While if I bought an MPC in Japan, my MPC 2500... Uh, basically was in Japan before it hit here and he replaced every single part bar none. It was, it's clean. Like if I was to break out my MPC, if I was to break out my, if I was to break out my MPC 2500, my goddamn microphone's going out. Uh, bro, the part, I opened it up, everything clean, extra clean, bro. What, what's my other? The 3000 came from, uh, came from the homie Destructo. No, Destructo, he, he don't fuck with me no more. He fuck with someone else. But anyways, so, uh, let's talk about it. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and get up into something else, man. I wanted to check out the, the brother from another, uh, Jan Hunter. Why is that shit just play like that? I don't know what's going on. That was loud. But anyways, it just ruined it for me a little bit. But I'm going to pretend uh, I didn't hear all of that. So, your boy Yon Hunter has been doing his thing, you know. And I wanted to... Yon Hunter's been doing his thing. I'm 100% proud. I One of the things I will say, just as an introduction, I think he had the best review video for the MPC uh, key 37 in my opinion out of everybody and that includes myself uh, he did a phenomenal job with it and it also showed me one of the things that i need to understand as a content creator is to stay hungry because hey people will replace you and mind you i wouldn't be mad at it but we're going to check out another one of his videos it's a performance where that he did with the sp404 and the mpc key 37 we're going to weigh in talk about it let's get the vibes going All right, what you got for me, brother? What you got? Let's get it. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. That's hundred. Man's is cooking. He is cooking. That man cook, cook. I don't even do that shit. Mind you, I, that shit look weird. What the fuck? But anyways, he cooking. It's, it's videos like these that make me want to keep my SP404. <laughs> Even though all of that stuff that you can do with the SP404 effects-wise, you can do with the MPC. 
Now, I mean, damn, flex beat makes that easier. And, you know, if you use the XY effects, that is, you can incorporate a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I do it all the time when I go, when I do my live performances, but nonetheless, still fine. He hasn't quite figured out the, uh, some of the hidden tricks. Like one of the main things that you could do with your NPC if you're a live performer is this. So in theory, if you was to go to the NPC and you was doing a live performance or whatnot, you seen that you're still using the jog wheel. Uh, you can actually press and hold main and then you can select which track you want which saves you a whole bunch of time. Just to say you have, you are on track number 10 then going and pressing this right over here will press or uh, pressing a holding main button and then pressing a pad the corresponding pad mind you that's the reason why you should name your tracks is definitely faster than going from here and scrolling down especially if you're really performing it all right man doing <laughs> is this man enjoying his starbucks in the middle of his performance is absolutely funny as hell green tea sipping ass nigga <laughs> Don't take that as a diss. Green tea is actually healthy for you. Mind you, if I'm going to sit here with a white beater on looking like a fool, I, I can at least tell you that green tea is very good for your brain processing, all of that stuff. Especially it deals greatly if you, it prevents dementia and it prevents Alzheimer's too, by the way. So that's the key thing about green tea that a lot of people don't know. No sugar, of course. All right, I've seen enough. I've seen enough, man. I think his cook-up was really good. Uh, one of the main things that I enjoyed about it was his implementation of the SP-404 and then the way that he was kind of going about well, switching stuff up. Kid, so that's who I... yeah, so uh, there, there was a lot of good things in that performance and definitely uh, the way that he implemented the SP-404. You know, I'm an all NPC guy or nothing. So, you know, you got the proper tools there, but it's good to kind of show love to another company. Uh, you know, I ain't got, you ain't got to be a elitist of a piece of gear and not fuck with another piece of gear. They go hand in hand. And a uh, big shout out to Roland too. But anyways, yeah. What y'all thought about that? What y'all thought about that uh, performance there? I thought it was pretty good. Uh, big shout out to Jan. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go reach out to him soon. You know, I, I actually have his number. <laughs> I got to go digging into the archives. I met him at the Distro Kid event. You know what I'm saying? And uh, big shout out to, damn, I can't remember my homie's name right now. That, that's what happens when you smoke a lot. You feel me? Speaking of which, I'm about to do that. But, damn, I'm over here having a brain fart of the century. My, what's my, what's my doll's name? But he introduced me to him. Anyways, he introduced me to him. I already knew what the uh, vibes were. When I get introduced by a certain person, that means that I'm supposed to be talking to that person. You feel me? So that's what it is. Uh, Wagabutt in the building. What's going on? Wang Guan. 
uh, 80 BPM. I saw <laughs> I saw DJ Tyson saying that we need MPC stem separation ASAP. Bro, don't rush the process. <laughs> Please don't. No. Oh, he, he the, <laughs> DJ Tyson the type to say, oh, nigga, we need that. And then turn around when it ain't working the way he wants it to work and it's fucking up. Man, a car's fucking up. <laughs> no, nigga, shut up. <laughs> oh, destructor in the building? <laughs> I, I just said his name three times and then he came up with this motherfucker. <laughs> so uh, one of my ops was probably like, oh, that nigga ass said you don't fuck with him no more. Oh, you know, he about to talk shit about you. <laughs> Big shout out to my, you know, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give my ops an echo. Big shout out to my ops. Shout out to my ops. <laughs> oh, oh, you about to keep that? Yeah, you all in all right, goddamn it, DJ Tyson. You going to be the first person to goddamn be like, man, Korean ribs rock. Oh, yeah, Korean ribs be off the chain, goddamn it. Nigga, if you say that a Kanye uh, uh, should put an HDMI on the MPC one more goddamn time, <laughs> say it again, say it again, say it again, say it again. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> I dare you, I never dare you, motherfucker. But uh, no, on some real shit, man, dude, y'all don't understand that HDMI ports are not the best thing to implement to a piece of gear or a piece in anything, honestly, because. Those parts do burn out fast. Even with technology advancing and all that other stuff, that's not I, that's not something I would require. And why do you? And, and mind you, I'm not going to shoot you down. Why do you want the HDMI port? I want to know. Oh yeah, you know what's up. I've been here around just staying low key for a bit. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. I, I've been low key too. God damn it! <laughs> I don't be, hey, look, I, and I ain't got nothing crazy to say about anybody. But I tell you, you what, your boy just to be. Hey, look, when it comes down to the BS, sometimes you gotta detox and be, get away. Get a, not give it away. Get away. Get away. Get away now. Shit, that type of shit. That's my that red hot chili peppers. Boy, that album, <laughs> that album is, that's probably, that's, in my opinion, their best album. Maybe not to everybody, but usually first albums, when they, when they make an impact, they usually are the best one. Oh, yeah. He needs a big screen TV session on the MPC. Um, I mean, I can understand why people would want it. You know, maybe they want to have it behind it. It makes good for, you know, pr presentations and stuff like that. Because one of the things I do not like about the MPC um, is some of their choices on the UIs of the plugins. Like, for example, if I was to go over here and pull up a damn plugin, pull up one of the goddamn, let's pull up uh Let's say Mellotron. Mellotron is one of them goddamn plugins that has this awful white UI. Now, on this particular one right here, this particular camera is not so bad, but in the living room, it's horrible unless I have the camera zoomed in on the screen. But back when it goes away, the whites wash it away. That's also another reason why I like having the Key 37 be red because, you know, that there's a particular balance to it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Uh my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, let me move this camera up real quick. My love, I've been waiting for you. This nigga, this, this, this nigga, uh, uh, y'all, how gonna make me act the fool on this son of a bitch? You, you know what I'm talking about? Ooh, that's loud. So, yeah, everybody needs time off. You know what I'm saying? Time, time off is good. Time off is a good thing. Can you connect a Politan Twin X to your MPC? Yeah, if you're using the Windows version of it where it has USB but not the Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't, I, I wouldn't see the benefit for, of that. I would probably just go with the Volt. And before I even go with the Volt, if you have the money for Apollo Twin or whatever, you might as well just get a Tascam 12. 
a task on 12 is going to take care of every single task that you would have for your NPC. You know, I got my task on 12 over here, but I, I, I'm not using it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I am going to use it. However, one, one of these days, just one of these days, I will use that some bitch. But right now, no. Anyways, I got my plugins to work, guys. You know, last time, last stream, I couldn't even get down with the get down because I couldn't get to, you know, the mini D. So. Oh, one of the things I will say, because one of the questions that people keep on asking, like, oh, this has two gigs of RAM and, you know, the plugins take a long time on the Key 61 to load and all this other stuff. Uh, does it, it seems, I don't know, I think they might have optimized the plugins. You know, they do update the plugins every single other update. So that's one thing I have, I've seen, because, like, when I go to different patches and... But uh, yeah, so that's one thing. So that's one thing I will say. I might have something to do with the sound file. I mean, the sound. Damn, boy. You know, your boy. I'm sorry, I'm I'm looking at the wire situation I got going on over here. You know when you have a lot of shit and the the biggest thing that happens is your shit get tangled up and the wire's been acting a little crazy. This man top I mean I've been hearing a lot of stuff. A lot of people have been uh like, oh man, why would you get an MPC when you can make beasts in the DAW and the computer is better? It's like, dude, I'm not arguing that point with your ass. If you wanna make beats in on the computer, that's great. You know, I have an opinion too for your ass as someone that makes beats in FL Studio and Ableton Live. Guess what? The sampling sucks on there for a certain, well, in Ableton Live, it really doesn't suck. And on the Push 3, even in standalone, it doesn't suck. Other things suck on it. But, <clears throat> yeah, I much rather be over here. You know what I'm saying? I want to also talk about gear elitism too, because that shit's a pain in the ass too. Like people, oh! Well, the MPC-3000 is the GOAT. It's the best one. It's made the most hits. Or that this these kind of people, too. And I, I do it from time to time to joke, but I don't mean nothing by it. The, if you're not a real producer, if you haven't make, if you don't make beats on the MPC, you know, one of those motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Gear elitism sucks. It, it's just like, come on, man. It, like, you're really not doing anything for the community when you're just arguing a mute points. At, at this point in the juncture, I have matured a lot. I don't give a shit. But anyways, what I do give a shit about is these samples. I do have these samples in the description box, by the way. And uh, I'll pull them up momentarily when I find what I want. Uh... Where's my boy at? I, I very rarely dive into Orange Origami's samples. And his samples uh, collection is actually good. And I'm I'm in a funky mood. So we might find something. What's going on? Some 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 hit the keys. <laughs> some 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 came at the right time when I was talking about gear elitism. He's a FL Studio gang elitist. And it's all his fault, goddammit. I definitely used that sample before though. And uh yeah. Uh I'm coming for you, Jan Hunter. You're about to get something funky in your ass. Pause. What the fuck? That shit is playing the whole entire sample, so they made that change to it. I just noticed that. 
FL Studio Supremus! <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Fucking hit you with a yellow card on that one, boy. God damn. You gonna wait the kids? Now the kids, man, they they doing too much. God damn it. Ain't nothing wrong. But anyway, let me look this shit up. Cause I would love to, for this brother to get his props. FL. <laughs> oh shit. Y'all done took me out my boat. Y'all done took me out my mode. <sighs> mm, what's this? Uh, dream schemes, too. Oh, man. <laughs> sup, sup, sup. is a goddamn FL Studio Supremacist. <laughs> so you go, beautiful. <laughs> don't do that. That's, that's, don't do that. <laughs> No nah, man, if anything, I should make him a mod. <laughs> hey, real talk though. Real talk. Reaper been around longer than you, my, my guy. You been around for a minute, something, something. I'm just saying, but Reaper been around since, I don't know, like, I don't know. Y'all gonna have to pull up your comment stripes and shit. Y'all gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, Say, so Gary Lee just had the wackest beats. Yeah, that is very, very. That, that, it's some truth to that. It is some truth to that. They're going to say it's all the way true. Because I know some gear leaders, boy, they'll fuck your ass up with some nasty shit now. Quincy Jones is a gear elitist. You ain't going to say Quincy Jones is trash, bro. Uh, Stevie Wonder is somewhat a gear elitist. He an MP, he, he MPC head, too. But uh, y'all don't know about that. But anyways, all right, uh, what I got to do, what I got to do, we won't, we won't get to it. So the samples that I'm about to play, the sample I'm playing, and I'm about to sample. Oh, I'm gonna give y'all a preview of some of the sounds. Because this one right here is cold. I'm calling dibs on this. There you go. It's coming from this pack right here. Which is Dream Schemes. It's over here at 16levels.com. I will not sleep on this brother right here. I don't hear from him often though. <laughs> Be nice if I heard from him more. But uh, yes, his samples are really dope. Uh, let's go through a couple of them real quick. Really dope for funk, whatever, whatever you can imagine, hip hop, whatever. I, I used that one already. Is it me or is the NPC key 37 louder than the damn live too? What the fuck? Am, or let me check the addition volume. Maybe that, that might be the case. But anyways, uh, as we do, we're going to get into it. And uh, let's go ahead and start with the sampling process. Ugh. You know, I'm still learning this thing too, by the way, so. Am I tripping? I, I just heard that. You know what I would like Akai to uh, add? 
to the NPC, especially in this mode. In processes, I would love for them to add a mode where you can uh, trim the silence, like all at once. Like you don't have to move any of the starting endpoints. Uh, I saw that in Koala, uh, which is, <laughs> I ain't gonna get into that, but. So let me go ahead and just go to the start point uh, right here and just. That's good enough. I don't need it to be perfect. So I'm just gonna go in the process here, discard. It's gonna take, you know, a second here. Whoa! Uh, so I just noticed things are moving a little faster on the key 37. I, I'm wondering, I would have to test it out on my MPC live too to know for sure, but that sample is long as shit. And usually it takes a long ass time for the sample to go to the process. And that was a quick like that. We'll find out when we go and pitch it down. We'll see, you know, maybe I'm just over exaggerating or over reacting to it right now. <clears throat> Let's see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pitch it down because I don't want it to be the exact same sample. And uh, this is the best way to do so. <clears throat> okay, okay, see, see, that's more like it. That is more like it right there. You see this right here, this processing right here, that's taking a little longer. You know what I'm talking about? Well, it's taking long as usual. When you do stuff on the 61 and on the MPC XSE, it's much faster. It is way faster. It's like noticeably faster too when you're uh, chopping a sample. <clears throat> For those who don't know. So, but anyways, you know, we're, we're picky. If that, if this was the three thousand or something else, uh, you know, the two thousand, the twenty five hundred, boy, it'd be taking forever, ever. So, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Let's check the G sharp minor. No, nah, I'm gonna undo it. <clears throat> I'm gonna undo it. I don't, I don't like it. It's going to process pitch shift. I'm gonna pitch shift it up two semitones. Let's see what that, how that works out. <laughs> some, 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 you over here being spicy. Uh, Rob Ultra now, he's saying the same thing. He said, uh, $900, it's a good deal. He says the converters need to be better on the flagships. Oh, uh, y'all, y'all talking about like EA Ski? <laughs> yeah, he stop talking about the converter shit when he got his 37. <laughs> nah, he, he, his, his point. His POV has always been basically the same. He like the like that, you know. It that like he wants what, and he, he what he wants is the same thing that the three thousand has. Basically, you have three different switches on your preamp, and you could do three different levels. And with those three different levels that you have on the three thousand, you can get. Let's say the record might be too quiet, even in with the record up, you could it. It does things. It does certain things to it. You know what I'm saying? But if we're talking about overall, no, it's not going to be like the whole. I don't even want to get into that argument again, but I understand what he was talking about. Yep, I can rock with that. So let's go ahead and uh, chop it. Whoa, whoopsies. I didn't mean to do that. Undo. Uh, what? Uh oh. Oh, no, it just went. Okay. Okay, cool. So go bike. I did it again like an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm so used to hitting it. Uh, I might have to. Tr uh, yeah, I gotta redo. Redo. Yeah. Well, damn it. How I fuck up something I've been doing all my like forever. Uh, manual chop threshold. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Reset my chops, you some bitch. Do I even know how to do it? Oh, see, I'm used to messing with the NPC uh, live, so that button usually is the shift button. Ah, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm an idiot. It's the whoop. so I'm, I'm shifting zero, clear all. There we go, and let's go back into trim and go. Let me make sure I it's playing. And now I'm gonna do it again. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm I'm a little shaky dicky. Analog heat plus uh, is on my radar. Radar. Oh yeah, yeah. I keep on forgetting about the analog heat. And then I wonder, I wonder if you could plug it up via USB and have it running like a audio interface to your MPC. That'd be crazy. That's like a thousand. I think it's like a thousand dollars. <clears throat> that was my idea for it and I can you know I got the right connections to make that happen but I want to keep that some bitch you know what I'm saying I don't want to fucking just have it for a second and then have to return it back I want that I likes it and I want it we could do it the easy way or we could do it the hard way well it looks like you chose the hard way there we go shop BPM you know what I'm saying? But yeah, thanks for reminding me. Now you gas me the fuck up, now I want it. I might do 16. That might be the, this might be the first time I've done 16 chops in a, in a minute. I like that, I like that sax. What I might do on, the, I'm gonna do on this one is process that chop and uh, make it reverse, cause why not? <clears throat> Maybe <clears throat> use this. Man, you know what? The way these buttons are sitting, it'd be cool if these were, well, no, it, they couldn't do it. Not like how the, the MPC X, the MPC X, the buttons up here, they can, they could be reassigned to the F buttons that you would get, the function buttons that would be on the classic MPCs. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, Damn, boy, that boy was playing the fuck out of that, uh, sax. God damn. I want to see what that sounds like reverse, though. I think I found my chops, so I'm cool with that. I don't want to, no matter of fact, let me go ahead and reverse this right here. Yeah, 
I think I got what I want. And then let's go ahead and just pick some drums. Uh, it was a C minor, so that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go over here and press the load button. Now it's the load button instead of browser button, which is weird. I'm gonna get some drums that really slap. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt disrespected by my my brother Jan Hunter and the way he's been coming off, man. So you know he's you actually have motivated me a lot. So you know, big sh big shout out to you. I appreciate it. I needed that. I think we all needed to be motivated and see something different for a change or something crazy. And I think I might have my drums, maybe. Uh, these drums are from Neo Sunset, by the way, if you're wondering where these drums are from. Big shout out to the person that just subscribed. I might use these again. I've used these drums before, but you know, I can always change it. Uh, let's go ahead and play with those drums and then we'll, uh, those drums are not slapping the way I would like it. Oh, oh. I do like these drums though, but not for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jan Hunter, I'm, Jan Hunter, coming, I'm for coming for you. Nah, that's my that, that's my guy. You know that. It's my guy. That's my guy. But uh Uh so around what 90 Uh, so one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Yeah, I had to plan that out. All right, let's go ahead and make this the sample track. Yeah, yeah, man. When you make love to your beats every single day, or when you make love to your beats, you got to make love to it properly. All the damn curves and crannies. You can't complain about little things. You feel me? Um, I like to plan my shit properly. So we got the mini D. Actually, C minor. Let's go ahead and uh... I mean, I could do it easier. You can lock out your keys and stuff like that, but uh, that's not what I'm here for. Uh, let's get to BPM. Yep. Oh, 
My bad. Play with the sample a little bit. little bit and let's get it on this beat right here hey No, no, no. Definitely would like him to do that shit. I'd much rather the bass line be done by a brother like that. My bass line was nowhere near as good. I will admit that. Uh, uh, now, let me go ahead and uh, pick something. I'm going to go with Hype Synth because I haven't been diving into Hype Synth as of lately. And sometimes it's good to get affirmated with, you know, the sounds. The sounds that you would have stock-wise. Turn that down.
<laughs> Yo, and one of the comments just made me laugh, right? He said, Big Pippin spinning cheese. <laughs> he wild. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true that. Yeah, you know what? Uh, matter of fact, uh, for this next track, I'll just put that there. I keep that. I'll just put bells. I probably won't, won't keep it as that, but I just, my, that'll be my generic thing. Uh, next one will be the lead. I will turn it, the lead down. Well, I, if I turn down the, the new program, I got to make a new program, then turn it down. Then let's go use the sound button because I want to use the sound button because I have the sound button now, right? So, damn, I got, I want to use OPX4 so bad, bruh. But there's so much deep diving I want to do with that first. But uh, let's go over here. Eh, I already know this ain't it. So I'm going to go back into the sound button here. I'm going to go ahead and get the mini D again. Um, the mini D, by the way, is a must have plugin. <laughs> off top, bruh. <laughs> if you, if you want to make funky, funky bass, 808 bass, all that. Where, where is it? Oh. There it goes. I was getting scared. And nasty ass leads. But as you hear. Let's take it an uh, octave up so I can play it a little higher. All right, now let's get busy. Uh, and I can do this one. Oops, maybe I should actually be. That's a uh, the Swiss sounds. Oh, that wall. Uh, let's go over here. I'm a no sound button god damn it because i can do it now sound button all right so i ain't gonna lie to you i've been i've been studying bernie i've been studying bernie and one of the things that i've learned from like checking out bernie with his music solina now i actually know the point of why akai added that i should have known god damn it i'm black god damn it i look but <laughs> anyways, so <laughs> I'm going to choose the uh, Selena. Uh, it, it's like, you know, a string synth or whatever. Let's go ahead and. Uh... Whoa, that's not it. All right, that's it. Oops, my bad. Oof, don't pretend you didn't see me do that.
Uh, let's subtract some things real quick. <laughs> I need what? <laughs> Simmer. Oh, oh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not flexing. I'm just making music. You know, I'm, I'm fucking with y'all. You know, that's what we do. Big shout out to the 44 people. I'm damn, not 44, 140. I can count. I can count. I promise. The 144 people watching. Uh, thank you so much for the 116 likes. Greatly appreciated. We vibing. All right. I don't think I need to mess with that screen right now. I'll probably mess up and mess with it, but whatever. Uh, okay, I'm going to do some preliminary things. Of course, one of the things I got to do to... Damn, boy. And it's just something about this shit that I like so much more. I'm telling you. Honest to God, truth. Y'all know I swear by my MC NPC Live. I did like... I do like the NPC XSE. You know, because of the bigger screen, all the buttons in the world, all that. But... There was like this weird thing about the MPC Key 61 where I was like, damn, like, bro, because this is what the way I look at the MPC Key 61 uh, and me and Dilio, big shout out to my brother Dilio, you know what I'm saying? Soul brother number one out here in ATL. Like there was something about when we was collaborating that I, I felt the vibe. Same thing with uh, Stephen Ringer, which I, I have some footage on my iPhone. I don't have all of it, but. When you collaborate, you know, when me, Beast by J Black collaborated on the NPC Live 2, it was fun, absolutely fun, but man, it is hella fun for someone to, you know, have the pad, you know, do this, the pads, clearly the Key 61 would be the best for that because you can, someone could be on the pads and then, you know, you have your key split, you know what I'm saying, and they could play, someone could play the keys and then if it's the 61, you can, you know, get a lot of people in there, it'd just be a good, fun old video for social media. But collaborating with someone that's just like really good at playing the keys, but they, you know, they, you know, they fuck with the pads, but they don't really fuck with the pads. But, you know, you have, it's brings a lot to the table. That's one of the things that, you know, when you collaborate in FL Studio is great, but yeah. Said GTA 6. <laughs> Man, that'd be, that's going to be crazy. The 37 is what 2024 drum machines should look like. <laughs> it's funny. Someone's going to hate you for it. Oh, my brother Dilly opened this motherfucker. <laughs> What's going on? I was just in there. You was on my heart, my brother. Always good to see you. It's always a pleasure. I, I watch the... Well, I always watch your cook-ups, you know. I don't, I'm, you know, I don't watch your cook-ups and in, 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 in being a, a, an adult, you feel me? Because, you know, you make that adult music, you feel me? But, uh... Yeah, so... Yeah, but this thing is just so funky. You know, this, you know, I, I really like the fact that, you know, so many different people touch it, but the pocket that is in for a 37 key, you know, you get so much from it for it not having a lot more. I do wish they did have that damn touch strip, bro. I'm sorry. Wish it had a fucking microphone on this thing. You know what I'm talking about? You know, but I guess we can't have it all. <sighs> One day we will. Anyways, back to it. I'm going to add a filter to this vibe. Uh, I was really just fucking around. But, you know, we'll, while we got, while we up, add a filter here. Let's go ahead and tighten that up. Give it a little bit more volume so I'm not way off of the mix. I do want my drums to be hitting hard. And uh bass line. And then you, of course you can let's go to the bass track. You can add your your stuff in there. If this was tied to a good modulation or mod wheel effect which you can always assign that like your modulation is on velocity up oh well, actually you know what I, I can fuck with that
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, record some uh, record. Mm-hmm. Turn out the automation. Let's go ahead and mix the lead a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I'm done, man. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm talking about? I, I was going to try to add some, some other shit. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to ride off that shit. First of all, I'm about to pull a... Nah, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> I ain't going to say that. <laughs> hey, goddamn. <laughs> now I see the whole why, why he said GTA 6. We, we don't goddamn went to San Andreas. You know what? That's a video right there. This going to be a... This, you know what? We don't, we don't went all the way to San Andreas 2024 shit. You know what I'm talking about? But anyways. So you can ride to that D-Rich? Yeah. Someone call Snoop, goddammit. Matter of fact, you know, call Mac-10, call Snoop. I need, I need Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? What, what's my boy, man? What is my boy's name, man? What is my guy's name? Mac 10, Cube, Snoop. My brother with the beard, man. I can't think of his name. He he the type. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. West Side, uh, West, West Side Connection re, uh, reunion is absolutely crazy. That'll be fire. I fuss with that. Oh, god damn. He's the, my, my dog said quick. Nah, yeah, I fuck with quick heavy, bro. Matter of fact, there's a beat tape. I'm gonna I'm play it after the fact. Let me go ahead. And, let me get back to business. But there's a there's a tape. There's a beat tape that exists. It was compiled by a really dope YouTube channel. They compile all the you know what I'm saying. I just sit there. Dub C, bruh. Yeah, yeah. Big shout out to Battle Cat. By the way, Battle Cat's uh that's that's my that's my dog, man. Big shout out to you, my brother. I, you know, you already know I rocks with you. I was talking. I was like, right, you need a goddamn, you know. He's like, man, I would love to work with a Kai. Yeah, of course, he didn't say it like that. I would love to work with a Kai or some shit. Oh, now nah, I see he got the thirty-seven. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Three, four. But uh. Uh, hopefully they fix that one. There's a bug too. There is a bug that exists. And uh, I'm going to make the re arrangement.
They fixed it. Yes. That's what I'm fucking talking about, Akai. I'm about to play this joint again. <laughs> practicing the xy effects is absolutely what i would do i do practice that <laughs> appreciate it bruh let me say that shit bruh no nah, some real shit i was not i was not expecting that i don't know i was just in a vibe today you know what i'm saying My, my dog, when my, when my brother come up in here, Dilio come up in here, bro, I, I, I got to represent, you feel me? My, for my brothers and shit. I'm going to call this beat Yawn. <laughs> Yawn, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just fucking around. But I, that's the only way I would remember that shit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that brother right there. He, he, he is funky. I'm young, <laughs> yawn, eyes coming. Pause. As a matter of fact, we'll put pause in there. Pause. <laughs> Yo, I almost, <laughs> I almost let that one slide too. Yeah, he definitely had the best, in my opinion, he had the best review. For real. He just had the best video overall. It's the best video I've seen so far. And that's not easy to do with, you know, Chop, Chop, Chop Squad DJs. Homie is dope, man. Like on some real shit. Like people were, you know, talking they talk like they do per usual. And, you know, they was kind of talking down on my bro, uh, Chop Squad. You know, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, man? 
So I was just like, ah, here we go. But then, you know, I, I, I watched everybody's video. I watched Sarah's video. I watched, I watched everybody's video. I watched Tiff's video. You know what I'm saying? I like, I watched Luke Pop's video just to see how everybody was coming. You know, see, it's always important to have something different. You know what I'm saying? Cause you have different, uh, you have different, like customers. There's certain people, you know, they don't want to hear from certain people. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to have a different perspective. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I just checked that out and just see, you know, what was everybody on, the type of shit everybody was on. So, but in my opinion, overall, I thought his video was really dope. Great presentation, video. He clearly thought of, you know, this community at large, people that had their gripes, people, you know what I'm saying? He did the research and all that. Then he did the most important thing, and that's to use it and get down with that some bitch. <laughs> I've got the eye of the tiger in 2044. <laughs> oh, my brother's up in here. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Y'all, <laughs> what's going on, my brother? Hey, I'm dead ass serious, bro. We need to, hey, me, you, Dilio. <laughs> I, I bet, I bet you Jay Black will come, uh, come around, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we, we all a family out here in Atlanta. He said, <laughs> Dilio said he ready. Yeah, man, I, that's all I, that, that's all we do. I love collaborations. I think collaborations in, in, to be honest, collaborations are probably one of the most important things that you should do as a musician, as a person in general in life. Cause you know, when you want to be that solo dolo type guy, and you know, I know some people they have their you know, hangups about working with people granted. But one of the things I just go by is it's like, bro, I like it when I get different perspectives from different people, especially people that are better than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, Dilio's better than me at playing the keys. You better at me and playing, the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Good structure. So there's a, it's a learning process too. You know, I, I like, you know, it's not, it's not a luxury that everybody gets to F with people that are better than them. You know what I'm saying? Beats by Jay Black and like, holy shit, this man is making beats live at goddamn Hawks games. Are you serious? And, you know, I watch y'all guys and I'm, I'm very proud of every last one of you. Dilio, and for those who be watching, Dilio has an album, and he already knows I listen to it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Dilio has an album that's absolutely fire. Y'all should check out his live streams too. Like no, no cap. Like I'm, I'm the type of person I like to see people celebrate it more so than I'm celebrated. You know? I want good for people. Oh, no, no, no doubt, brother. You're my, you know, you're, my, you're my guy. You're my guy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, my peoples. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's, I think it's, hold on, I'll fix it. Boop. Yeah, something, you know, this Canon M50 is great. It's a great camera. Thank you so much for the hearts, by the way. Uh, but yeah, especially if we out in the same city, man. Ain't no excuse. We, Atlanta is supposed to be a musical area, a musical city, you know? Oh yeah, I think the smoke, the smoke. <laughs> yeah, the smoke blurred it up. But thank you so much, Reaper. Yeah, and you know what? Growing up out here in Georgia, I've always collaborated, and you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised at the people that will collaborate with you out here. It's not just, man, look. I remember the first time that I was introduced to the Dungeon family, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, meeting, and those, those, you know, if we're gonna talk about idolism, I idolized those those guys, and they were very humble. They was ready, you know, they're like, all right, but what you know this, that, and that. We're talking before YouTube. Get real funky up in there, future. For sure. 
Yeah, and it's important to sh share your spotlight. Like most people, they, they don't like to share. They don't like other people to shine. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's gonna be weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, it's weird. It's locked. I'm gonna tap in with you tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. Bet. I, eyes here. Eyes here. Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of person, even when we're talking about money, man. Money, to me, uh, yes, money is good. But you actually make way more money when you do share it. You know what I mean? You share opportunities and stuff like that. Uh, more so than you... Imagine, be, imagine being the type of person... <laughs> let's, let's switch to the music after this uh, downbeat. Imagine being the type of person where you're like, you got this position in your life. You have affected many, multitudes of people and you that person that's whispering in, in the person that could change the other person's career. Hey, don't fuck with him. Uh, hey, 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 don't fuck with that person right there. Like that is this, like that really is this, like don't fuck with that person, like what? And that puts the spotlight on you as a person that's kind of funny, you know what I'm saying? We don't need to do that. We definitely don't need to do that in 2024, you feel me? We need each other. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And this speech isn't aimed at anyone. You know, I, let me be clear. But, uh, or, or, or you got the people like this. You got, you got these people. This, this was 2023 in a nutshell. Let me sum up 2023 with some of these folks out here. Hey, 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 hey. That, that motherfucker over there is winning, man. How can we take that motherfucker down? You know what I'm saying? How can we take him down? He over there winning. Over there winning. <laughs> you feel me? Like that, that was 2023 in my opinion. That's how I experienced 2023 watching other people get disrespected. I, like you guys are actually out here plotting against people, hating on people's success, and you are successful. Like what is the, di like what are you so mad about, bruh? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is you, why is you bad? <laughs> like, why is you bad? You are doing well in your life. Right, well, so it looks, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, but running into, and it was timing, perfect divine timing that I ran into a Confucius quote where he said, people are talking about you behind your back are talking to your back because they are behind. And that's paraphrasing it. I, I don't know exactly verbatim, but I will make that a thing. And I'm gonna share that on social media. You know what I'm saying? Since I, I've been on a hiatus, bro. I'm, I'm bye. Bye, bye, bye. I need more haters. Need more haters. Just, know Just know that. I need more haters. Need keep, more haters. On. keep on. Keep on. But yeah, this, uh, bruh. <laughs> I'm out. I want to definitely do some good things. And I'm not focused on those type of people, but yeah, people talk behind your back because they are behind. Because you're leading. Yo, Ab, how much do you think the new mode will cost? I pro it's definitely gonna be about four grand. You're, we're talking about eight voices. <laughs> we're talking about eight voices on, on a mode set. And she's gonna be banging though. <laughs> it's gonna be in a law like a bug. You know, it's gonna, it looks like it has a lot of options too. So it's definitely gonna cost, you know. And I, you know, uh, the curious shit is dope, you know, the poly brute. But you know, people like stuff because of brand name and brand uh, familiarity, you know. So I think it's gonna do well. It's just not gonna be in everybody's house. <laughs> yeah, or get on their payment plan. One of those two. But any. Anyways, we've been streaming for about two hours and 16 minutes. I do appreciate everybody. You, you know the vibes, I will have it up. You know what I'm saying? I greatly appreciate all my broskies sliding through. Uh, all the people that, you know, support the stream. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for the 135 likes. Thank you for resharing it. Thank you for telling a friend. You know, I always try to do the same. You know, for those who have done for me i'm one of those type of people that try to to make sure that i'm doing the right thing with my platform and you know i'm not trying to say i'm the most humblest person but you know i love uh the, the fact that we can do this thing 
I don't know what what we could do without YouTube, or at least me. You know, uh, my opportunities and stuff like that wouldn't be the same. I don't think, in my opinion. And you know, all the good people I've met over the years. It, I mean, from you guys in the chat to people in real life and so forth. I just greatly appreciate it, man. So, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good night. We is out of here.